Pirates of Greece. That's the name of today's game. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to what I'm going to classify as a very promising city builder, as finally we have another city builder that is outside the realm of modern day survival in a post-apocalyptic era, and also medieval. This game, of course, taking place during the classical era in Greece, but there are also other games that I believe are called Builders of Egypt coming and possibly Builders of Rome too, and I really want to see more games tackle the ancient world that are city builders outside of the typical, uh, you know, total Rome or the civilizations-like aspect. I want more city builders in, uh, like, Asia, for example. Ancient China and Japan would be very good, and this game certainly simulates a lot of those production chains that were important to the ancient Greeks and also many other trade partners that they had. Well, join me now as we take a look at a game that is in a playtest. You can go to Steam and make a request for this. It took me about two weeks to get approved for this one, so I really don't know what you have to do other than ask for it, but you can add it to your wish list, and there's really no time when this is coming soon. There's a lot of these games, like Builders of Egypt, that of course we can build massive monuments that I really want to come to flourishing, and I really want to promote them because I, I really hope that they come true and that we get a big, new, robust city builder with the ability to build armies, such as this one has, and defenses, and as you see here, like you know, a, a ship for war, and you know, the ability to do trade and war and diplomacy, but all from our very own city or settlements that we build. Well, anyway, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into a new game and take our first look at Builders of Greece. If you haven't already, by the way, just go ahead and subscribe and smash that like button for free and consider becoming a member if you'd like to support the content. And uh, yeah, feel free to uh, comment your opinions down below. Let's go ahead and begin. Empire. Yeah, the Raptoria Empire. All right, here we go. Well, first off, I must say that the text here is fantastic, but in some of the menus, it's so small, it's hard to read. For those of you watching on mobile, i got to apologize, as a lot of it's very small. But again, this is a play test, and actually, if I go into the graphical settings, there's a lot of things that aren't even, like, I can't even do anything with. Like, there's literally no options other than just to play in English. Can't even turn up the sound or down the sound, so that's interesting. But at least we can save, so that's pretty cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, see what we need to do first. We uh, apparently have uh, some new missions to look over. Oh, some briefings on things. All right, so cool. We get some in-game videos. Yeah, videos to see how to do things. And uh, yeah, as you'd imagine, a lot of things are work in progress. All right, let's go ahead and see what we need to start with then. We need to... Uh, new text. All right, cool. Uh, let's see what we got for buildings. Residential, roads and bridges. I'm assuming they want us to build this, the Agora. Uh, that seems to be the only thing unlocked at the moment, but we have residential buildings, roads and bridges, administration buildings, production, service, military, decorations, and the ability to destroy. And we also have a big old island. Minimap in the lower left corner seems to make it look like it is a very beautiful Mediterranean island. I see things which look to be maybe clay deposits and a lot of beautiful rocks and whatnot. This will be cool if we actually get a bustling port town with a lot of ships and we have a navy coming in and out. We have uh, troops that we're training and trade going on. That'd be really cool. Very beautiful. I gotta say, I really like this. I saw cypress trees. Maybe there's also, uh, I don't know, maybe we can make olives and make olive oil and other things like that. And a beautiful waterfall too. Absolutely gorgeous. Not too bad, actually, for kind of a playtest where they haven't even finished the text, really. All right, let's go ahead and put down our Agora, which seems to be our town center. It's a storage area, as they call it, but it seems to be like a market and maybe like administration buildings all in one. And it looks like all around it there seems to be arrows, which I'm guessing is going to be where roads need to connect. Let's go ahead and plop this down right about here at the edge of the tree line. And there we go. All right, now we need to start with a safe shelter. So I guess the goal now is to uh, build some houses. Uh, actually, this new text is probably supposed to welcome us to the game, but I don't know if we have uh, any sort of objective at the moment. Uh, we should, but it's not popping up. We'll try to do what we can. Let's go ahead and build ourselves some houses. Uh, we'll go ahead and build a few on either side. These will require materials, so we have stone and wood and some money that are needed to build these initially. And yeah, look at that. That's kind of cool. We can actually see a marketplace inside with a few uh, goods going and a few other uh, stalls and areas to store things. So it's like a warehouse and market all in one. All right, let's go ahead and plop down a... Uh, I guess we'll build some houses on the outside. I don't want to keep this area open here, so let's build a uh, road. Looks like we can build a bridge section to get over uh, this river to the other side. This area here would be fantastic for farming. I also see a few materials here, uh, like clay 
and uh, possibly stone that we could mine, maybe up here. Seems to be a big old stone mine up there that we could do, and also a lot of land up there for more homes. Now we could also build a, well, a bridge in a small spot, so looks like we could pretty much build anywhere there's not rocks on the either side. So that's cool. All right, let's go ahead and build a road all the way around the Agora. And this is only costing us money, so no materials needed to build the initial road. Most games, that's that's pretty traditional, right? Most roads uh, are built with money in games. Sometimes you can upgrade them with, uh, you know, you make a dirt path and then upgrade later on with cobble uh, or maybe brick. Of course, we probably won't have those types of things available at the start, if at all. Let's go ahead and build a three road here and a three road here. I'm trying to kind of make it even with the marketplace uh, and try to make it look like a beautiful centerpiece of the town. Oh, right about there should be good. Ah, oh, the trees look nice. Yeah, not too bad. All right, well, obviously everybody wants homes, so let's go ahead and plop these down now. So we're building homes for... I'm not sure how many people can uh, fit inside those homes, but we'll go ahead and build uh, maybe three on either side. Yeah, looks like those notices are going away, so that's good. Oh, looks like uh, building is immediate, too. So what about if we destroy a building? Do we get all of our money back? I wasn't actually paying attention, so I'm not sure. Hey, but we have new buildings unlocked. We now have a warehouse. Uh, we have some granary and, and, oh, a noria, which I think is a thing for water, from what I recall from uh, kingdoms and castles. Okay, collecting resources. Well, luckily, we are probably doing what we need to do here. I think this is supposed to be where our objectives are, but it must not be displaying correctly. So um, let's see what we need to build next. They're hinting that we build. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm not sure, but I'd assume the basic resources are probably wood and stone and maybe clay. Although houses are built with wood and stone and clay might be for uh, some later farming stuff for storage. Let's see if we can build. Oh, can we build a bridge here? Oh, we can. That's a, ni that's a nice link up to the road. Lucky us. Go ahead and build that there. Oh, that's cool. That looks nice. That water's uh, looking real nice, too. I like how it flows out into the ocean. It, it doesn't really look like that in real life. Unless, I mean, unless you're looking at, like, a hydroelectric dam doing some sort of dumping on the spillways. But, um, kind of nice to actually see the water, though. Obviously, fresh water here and salt water out here. So, pretty cool to actually see that. We'll probably have to be doing fishing soon, too. Oh, are we off by one? Oh, I'm sad. Oh, I'm so sad. That's okay. We'll build the uh, road this way. Right about to this edge. That actually is a clay pit here, isn't it? Uh, well, it's shining, so when I click on it, it appears to actually be a resource cache. Well, let's go ahead and build this way. And I don't actually see a way to build into the bridge, so... Yeah, it looks like it just looks like that. Alright. Not too bad. Nice winding path out of the village. All right, let's go ahead and start with some resources then. So I would imagine wood and food are probably key items. Uh, we could build a little logging camp over here. I don't see any change to productivity based on where we're building. There's just the ability to or to not um, build the building. So let's go ahead and place that over here. I'm getting a little bit of Anno 1800 vibes here while building the main marketplace. We start with homes and then have to go into logging camps. Just a slight little uh, feeling of that game. Oh, perfect. Well, the fact that we're getting more of these uh, pop-ups like this probably means we're doing the right thing. Um, growing the settlement's going to take more people. Oh, excavating and processing, so that's mining. Uh, so for more people means more food, so I'm assuming the best options here are probably going to be fish and then uh, maybe stone somewhere, maybe over here. We'll take a look. Okay, so let's go to production buildings. We'll do fishing now. And can we build a fishing dock on the shore? Oh, we can. All right. I guess we'll plop that over here by the, the rocks there. And back to roadways. And we'll see if we can connect back here. And this might generate money for us, too, as uh, shoreline will equal fish, and then that needs to be sold to the market, so there we go, we have ourselves an economy. Now as for the, uh, boy, uh, stone, yeah, stone quarry, let's see where we can place that. Oh, we can build up to three of them there by that rock. Is there one on this side too? Oh, there's quite a few. Okay, so we can build two 
quarries here, I believe. Oh yeah, there's lots of them. This is really reminding me of an Anno 1800 island now. Uh, we could build over here, but I already did kind of build a bridge, so let's build it over here. This will allow us to also see if transit time is a thing in this game. In other words, workers having to walk from their home to the building in order to then be productive. Looks like they also want us to build plantations. Not sure what first crop we would be growing. Go ahead and start with the uh, roadway all the way up to the quarry then. like how the trees are animated. Certainly does feel like a Greek... Anno 1800. Oh, there we go. They're already kind of starting. Oh, look at that. They've Are they carving the stone already? It looks like they actually are chiseling the stone and then kind of like carving it too. Stonemasons. Very cool. Alright, uh, the next thing probably will be the uh, production chain of food for the plantation. A grapevine plantation? Oh boy. Imagine that. Oh, this is a perfect plot for this over here. Unfortunately, we're missing two of what looks to be pottery, so we need a clay pit. I guess we'll build a clay pit up here, too. Put all of our mining on this side of the river. And I can only assume that the catchment area needs to include the clay right there behind it. We'll plop that down there, and we'll build a nice little road over to the main road. Perfect. Now, I'd like to see what I really admired about games like... Uh, Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. By the way, if any of those like original um, Sierra city builders like Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom or Pharaoh or I don't know, was there a Cleopatra game? In any of those, Caesar, if there was any sort of those games that got a remake, a immediate, immediate buy for me. I want them to look kind of like this, but with that same vibe of, you know, setting up a, you'd build like a market with an X number of buildings that would cover. It was kind of like an early Anno. If you're familiar with any of the Anno games, a lot of those um, Sierra City builders were like that too. Looks like we are short on workers, so that's going to mean more homes, and that, of course, will be good, because then we can get more people for farming too, and also more people buying food, and that's going to generate some money for us too. So yeah, back to the home building. Um, not sure how many homes we should build. I'm going to plop down maybe... Oh, we're out of materials now, so now we need more wood. And that is fulfilled, right? Can we manage jobs? We can. There's three out of three here. We can see everybody working at the woodcutter's house. Take a close look at some of these buildings here. Oh, that's a nice zoom in, too. All the way from about this range, which I'm not sure if we can actually do visible combat in this game, but if we were to have a naval battle out here of some people trying to invade us, and before they got to us, they'd have to defeat our navy... It'd be quite cool to actually fight them out at sea and see it like this. And also to have shoreline defenses like towers and things. Um, getting some very slight uh, Age of Empires 2 vibes from this as well. One of the things that I really admired about Age of Empires and Age of Empires 2 was uh, the missions and the campaigns kind of put you into that era a little bit more and would have you do the basic economy stuff first before then going into the war. And it was kind of cool to see all the different things that economies would, uh, or different cultures would kind of value and what they would go for. And if you've ever played Rise of Nations, that game too, with the uh, ability to create merchant caravans and also uh, specialty merchants with, who would go and find things like gems and copper and, uh, I, like, for example, uh, I guess there was inks and other types of dyes. Uh, that was really cool. It was almost like playing Civ, Age of Empires, and a city builder at the same time. I really cared about how I would build my cities in that game. And it was kind of cool how you'd plop them down as a whole city center. So it was very much like Civ. And so this game is channeling a lot for me. And I, I just really hope that we get more of these games to actually succeed so we can do more and play more outside of our usual... Uh, you know, modern city builders. These types of eras don't get enough love. They truly don't. All right, it looks like we need to make ceramics, but we need clay. And in order to get the clay, we needed the workers. So now we have... Do we have any more homes we can build? We can. I think we should continue to work on our workforce. Uh, one of your production buildings is not functioning. That's got to be related to population. Let's continue to build behind these homes. Now, there was decorations, too. I'd like to see what those are. Nothing at the moment, but they could be unlocked as we hit higher population uh, unlocks. So that'd be kind of cool to see a decoration standard. These could be like tier one homes. Uh, I don't know what a Th Thetis house is. Or Thetis. But uh, perhaps it's uh, something that could be upgraded. Do it does look like they are buying meat and fish. We could buy a hunter too. And there we go. The fishing dock is kind of working. There's people going into the building. 
Uh, hopefully, in time, we can actually see a dock and then people going out and coming back to the shore. Is that a little bit of stone there? We could have built a quarry there. Let's take a look. It's got to be, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Cool. They could actually work on the whole shoreline rock. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll actually see the rock disappear over time. But it would be cool if we could actually form that rock into, like, a pier and build, like, a uh, maybe a lighthouse or something on that. That'd be awesome. Very cool stuff. Nice. All right. Well, anybody going across the bridge? Yeah, we actually have some people moving back and forth. Cool. The bridge looks good. The water looks pretty good, too. I feel like it needs to be slowed down. But these are all nitpicky graphical things, and I really don't think that that's what's going to make a game like this any more appealing. Again, going back to what I mentioned about the whole Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom series, if we could get something like that again, but with just kind of updated mechanics and or just something that even simply worked on GOG, G-O-G, uh, that would be just fine with me. All right, looks like some of the people now need food, so perhaps we should do a hunter. We can't. Uh, don't have enough wood for that. The woodcutter's house, though, is working with three out of three people there. So, yeah, they're wanting us to now do the plantation building. Oh, looks like it also mentions irrigation. So when we build this building, it will be important to find more... Oh, wait a minute. Or not. We can actually use the uh, Noria here in order to irrigate our lands. Well, there we go. All right, so ceramics are needed for these, so we definitely need a, a, a clay pit to be functioning. And it seems to be, yeah, five out of five workers. Let's take a look. Uh, the clay pit is functioning at five out of five. The quarry is working at five out of five. Let's go back to the production chain. Yeah, we need more clay. I'm not sure if they have to deliver it all the way. But I don't see anybody pushing any sort of wagon or cart all the way back to the marketplace. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit and see how fast this functions with the uh, faster speed. Oh, the map does look pretty, though. It, it, really, it really does look nicely detailed. With a little bit more work, this would definitely be on par, possibly better with Anno in terms of its detail. But the size is... Um, would, would be, fen oh, that'd be phenomenal if we could get something like Anno 1404, uh, but in Greece. Uh, but more like its own style, such as this. You know, I don't necessarily feel like I need to go to war all the time. But I do like maintaining a giant population and trying to get everybody getting along and trying to trade, which seems the most interesting. Well, we see we have a plus, what, 16 of money? Uh, tax income is, oh, I see we have uh, operating costs of 26 out of 42. We have a population of 21 adults, uh, 19 of which are employed, so we will need more people uh, because we're going to have more jobs shortly. As soon as that farm is built, we're going to have a lot more people here. But I think we should continue to build homes and then continue to build roads to those homes. I'll leave some of these areas open, maybe, for decoration. There was kind of an area on the other side there. There we go. Cool. So yeah, I think we'll leave this area here for some general dinner, uh, some decorations, and maybe we can do uh, maybe additional homes if we need to. I, I could maybe make an entire block here, depending on if the supporting buildings require us to build uh, within the area of the town. So for example, a uh, now, let's just say, like, a acupuncture studio, if we, if we were playing in, like, Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. Or, rather, a better example would be, like, a fire department or, uh, like, an herbalist or something like that to cure disease and uh, maybe give people specialty treatments for anything that may be ailing them. 25 adults are now in the town, so it is growing, although it is difficult to see how big the town uh, will be if we have a fully populated uh, city. Looks like each of these homes... Uh, oh, taxes are two, so each of these homes will generate two. It looks like we have a home of four people in there. We can have up to four. And I'm also assuming this is based on families, so husband and wife move into a, a building. They could then have children, and then those children will get married and move out as well, and so on and so forth. Kind of how it is in Banished, where you'll need additional homes for people to start their own families and then eventually move away from home so they can... Uh, you know, have their own place to start their own families. 
All right, 26, 19 employed, five children, nobody homeless at the moment. So at least we're keeping everyone housed. I think we'll build a house here. And we'll have to build a few more homes here too. So this is only going to help us in terms of money. Well, we're certainly getting quite a bit of that. Uh, we could build some more woodcutters homes. That seems to be our biggest bottleneck now. So let's go ahead and continue to do that. Well, there we go. This is fun now to actually match our production and try to increase our output of basic goods for home construction. Let's go ahead and build another logging camp over here maybe. find it rather interesting too that oh actually the trees oh the trees will grow around the sawmill no matter what so it doesn't look like it matters too much where we put this but really this building could be its own forestry building now where it will cut down trees and regrow them based on you know they'll be able to uh, cut and grow trees so a forestry building and the logging camp kind of all in one so they'll be able to maintain that. But good idea to put that in the forest because we could use all this open land for additional homes and also, boom, right here. This is perfect for a little plantation. Nice uh, look at the rocks and the grass. It is reminding me a little bit of Land of the Vikings. And I like seeing the rocks and the water too. Pleasant sounds in this game as well. All the birds chirping. All right, let's see. Your polis has reached the next civilization level. New buildings have been unlocked. Oh, so there's something to do with probably reaching a certain population limit and or providing certain services that unlock new limits. Push it to the limit. All right, so let's go to, yep, this building here. We got three out of three, three out of three. Okay, I just want to make sure everything's fully staffed for now. And I would like to build another logging camp. We'll call this the Kenny Loggins Memorial Logging Camp and Gift Shop. I think that'll be just fine. He'll be fine with that. All right, let's go ahead and put a forester down here. Or as they call it, Woodcutter's House. That's kind of cool. I wonder if we deleted this building, if the trees would stay and we could use it to make our own decoration. And then right here is perfect for the plantation. Now, what about roads going uphill? Let's take a look at how that might look. Oh, it actually looks like it'll... Oh, that's quite nice. So even though it's kind of a, well, obviously a grid-based game, uh, it is nice to see the path actually going up at uh, various inclines rather than... It's kind of a smooth slope rather than it just being like a, you know, 25, 35 degree angle and then it levels off again. So the landscape is a little different that way. And seems rather believable. Nice. Okay, so let's go to town again. Let's take a look at our production. Now we're producing uh, three times the wood with three times the uh, logging camps. And we're going to get those numbers up a little bit. These are rookie numbers. we got to pump these numbers up. Zeus is going to be mad. All right, cool. And that'll probably be the edge of the town here. Since we want to stay away from the logging camp. Don't want to cut that off at all. Alright, uh, let's see our materials, by the way. So, what do we have here? We have our population. We have... Oh, these seem to be different classes. Okay, so there are three tiers of homes. Okay. Uh, but all our adults, children, employed, or homeless of those classes. We also have meat, fish, wood, stone, and clay production. And then we can also click... Ah, we can also... Uh, choose to see different things so we can actually add things to the top. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Do we have, uh, how much ceramics do we have? None. So can we finally make a production building for that? Ah, uh, finally we can make a production building for clay into ceramics. Perfect. That's a good little spot for it right there. So it's kind of close to where our clay pit is over here. And it doesn't look like resources are finite. They seem to be infinite at the moment. And, uh, I think, yeah, Anno does that as well with having uh, just to increase the number of buildings producing. So we might be able to almost endlessly upscale, uh, especially since 
each of these stone deposits could hold up to two or three different uh, people or uh, buildings, which means that, what, five people could work there? We could have a lot of people in this town. Crazy. All right, looks like we're low on wood again, but now we're starting to create ceramics, which was required for the uh, vineyard. Yeah, so it looks like we need a bunch more wood and now ceramics for this. Makes sense, right? They'll need to be able to store all those grapes in a uh, probably a cool, dry place, depending on whether or not they're making... Uh, I don't know, did, did they figure out about raisins back? I'm sure they did, right? I'm sure they knew all about that. Winery, grapevines, ceramics. Ooh, I bet we'll have more things to farm as we upgrade too. And I bet you these other classes will also require different, more luxury goods. So trading might become important at a later time. All right, how many people work at the ceramics workshop? Well, it looks like X number of clay can make three, five. I can't even read these numbers sometimes. They're very small. Let's go ahead and continue. Oh, what was that? Ah, I see it shows how much clay we can actually produce. Oh, there's even more here. Perfect. I like how it says one out of three, though. Really encourages us to build more. Uh, but we have 44 out of 28 employed. And we've got quite a bit of clay already. Okay, there we go. Now the first ceramics are coming out. Perfect. Well, let's do this then. Let's make another ceramics workshop. Kind of make a ceramics district here. Not to be confused with the hammock district. That's also on First Street. Or whatever that Hank Scorpio quote is. Oh, I love these trees here. Hopefully we just get to place generic trees, because this would look nice in the town. Absolutely. Let's build a clay... Well, I wonder if... Well... What is this wheelbarrow here? Maybe that shows the source, or can we upgrade a building to have better transportation? I'm sure there is a lot being told to us in the text that's popping up too, but based on this, uh, I'm, I'm assuming the objectives go up here on the upper right corner, and then here on the left is kind of our more uh, detailed topics, but I think we've been able to pretty much figure this out for ourselves for the most part. Oh, I love how people cut corners too on the streets. That is so like people. Oh my god. This game is accurate. Now, oh, what is this? Let's go ahead and uh, let's slow down time. I think we want to produce more food. A hunting lodge. Is there anywhere to place this? Anywhere specific? Looks like we just do hunting in a generic forest. Ooh, the logging camp kind of cut down the trees, actually. Oh, this one, too. I can only assume, though, that the trees will grow back. Alright. Let's build a little... Uh, hunting camp here. And let's build another fishing dock. Cool. And then, let's build ourselves... Ah, finally, we can build a grape plantation. So this seems to show everywhere where we can actually uh, grow. And like they showed us in that tutorial, we will need a Noria in order to... Ah, look at that. Oh. So it's like we're pulling not from the water, but from a reservoir. So it's really just like a well. That then goes into an irrigation area. Let's build that like this. Or, now let's make it a part of this facility. Yeah, that looks a little oddly fit there, I think. There, that looks nice. Okay, cool. So it looks like people can come in off the road. Now, we probably have to build farm fields? Oh, yes. Okay. And it looks like anywhere in blue is actually irrigated now from the Noria, so... Now, how... 
how many people... Oh, it looks like it takes 25 silver or money and two wood to make this. Oh, that's our maximum size there. Okay. Yeah, we can't make any more. Okay. So that probably means we also need to build a... Well, granary would probably make sense, but we can also build a... Winemaker? A winery. Yeah. All right. Put that somewhere nearby, too. Kind of need to be able to put all these buildings together if we can. Oh, that looks really nice. That looks good. Cool. So we have our Noria, our farm, and our winery all together there. So that'll make wine for our people, which brings in that money. Yeah. All right. Now what else can we do? Uh, again, we still need more wood. Maybe they cut down all the trees, then stop for a while to then regrow them. Uh, let's see. New buildings have been unlocked again. A bad day. Ah, a random event, it seems. Efficiency of hunting lodge decreases for three minutes. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. One of your production buildings is not functioning, although it doesn't show exactly which one. Uh, workers are on strike and will not return to work until you better their conditions. Fair enough. We are learning. What do you all need? Ah, nothing in the pantry. They certainly need more food. Well, I hope whoever's on strike is not the fishermen. But I agree. We should certainly build more fishing lodges. And hunting lodges. And hopefully now the winery will give them something to drink. And hopefully increases their happiness too. Let's get food as soon as possible, I agree. Oh, we can increase our taxes. There's a slider here to be able to adjust residential taxes. And this button could, yes, could possibly give us the ability to upgrade the homes if we fulfill all their needs. That's pretty cool. And one of your production buildings is not functioning again. So that seems to be the uh, uh, ceramics area over here. We have a few clay pits working, actually just the one. Looks like we can pause production based on uh, not having enough materials, so that's good. Then we can shift the workforce elsewhere, so that's a good thing to note. And then back to a, another fishing dock would be great. doesn't seem like the fishing docks, it doesn't seem to matter where we put them. So if we just continue to line up fishing docks all along the coast, that'll be just fine. We've certainly grown our population quickly. Yeah, 59 people, fantastic. All right, let's put them all to work now with food production. And I would like to maybe do some hunting up the road. There we go. A lot of wood for that one. Ten wood in order to put down that hunting lodge. And another... Uh, oh, it's very cheap for a fishing lodge, though. Well, con considering. All right, so we have three fishing docks, two farms, or one farm, and two hunting lodges. So that's good. And now we have a few strikes going on. Kind of cool that our people can go on general strike like that. It's going to make it a little bit more interesting to satisfy their needs. Ah, military units. We have ourselves a barracks now. Very nice. Uh, let's see. A lot more stuff along the way. So a granary. And a warehouse. Uh, let's see. It also fi uh, stores finished products. So this could be a good in-between point. We could build like a granary and a warehouse here. And then perhaps the people will go to the farms to pick up those things. And the production buildings on this side of the river, and then someone will take them to the town and sell them here. Boy, that looks good. Love seeing the barrels around, carts, banners, very nice. All right. So hopefully we're making enough ceramics now. It looks like one building is enough for now. Yeah, 
Any more we could do for food? It just seems to be hunting and fishing for now. And then, of course, wine. Are we actually making any wine? Yeah, let's see. Ah, this building requires the grapes and the ceramics. So, it does appear the farm is working at 20%. The nori is assisting, too. So, yeah, just the seasonal thing. Makes sense. So, more ceramics will be good. Well, let's continue to feed the people. I think we'll build a, a few fishing docks here. Nice. All right, we'll continue to add along this way as well, so it's not too crowded. Trying to balance form and function at the same time can be difficult. And I'm hoping in this game that, just as I mentioned at the start, that we're able to build giant monuments. So the ability to build a temple um, or some sort of a anything, really, even to build like a observatory or something for science or for uh, democracy would be quite interesting as well. Some sort of a, a university for discussion. Uh, to build a town that has a lot more than just production would be interesting. Very interesting to have like... Um, you know, philosophy going on as well. Very nice. Now, I wonder what the differences here are. Some people have a fork and knife that are pointing up, and somebody's got it to the sides. I'm not sure what that really means. Citizen is 0% full, 100% rested, and they're furious, mostly due to the taxes. But it seems like we can counteract that, then, with diet and goods, so... Uh, diverse foods, more than just uh, probably meat and fish, will make them happy. So I'm assuming this uh, class wants meat, fish, and also wine. And then the, uh, looks like the entertainment might be, well, goods might be possibly entertainment, but more than likely the ceramics or maybe wine too. Could be anything. We'll all have to guess. All right, what else do we have? Yeah, we're still producing a lot of fish, it seems. A lot of that's going to market. So all those people who are uh, really hungry are being fed, but it's just taking a little while for the production chain to go down the line. Looks like we need a lot more wood, too. Picky, picky. So how many people are in the town now? Ooh, we're at 67. Hey, 54 are employed, though. That's pretty good. We're, we're not really having too high of an unemployment rate. But then again, each of these buildings take up two or three. It uh, reminds me of how Tropico works, where, of course, you can have a town of 250 people when each building only takes, like, five or six people to work there. Very nice. All right, we got no more clay coming in, so... Ceramics is okay, right? We have no wine, though. Oh, wait a minute now. We have three wine and... Oh, maybe they need more... Uh, maybe more... Uh, from the vineyard, more grapes need to be delivered. I like these buildings here, though. I like these production chains. Let's see. Well, let's speed up time again now. We're kind of just waiting for all those food numbers to go up. Seems like fish is being immediately consumed when it's produced. But we did get more logs. Everyone knows it's log. No, not the quarry. We want more fishing. There we go. Alright, so now we have six fishing docks and two hunters, plus the vineyard, which I'm not sure if that provides a good or a food. You know, they may want food and drink, or it's just simply considered as a good that's luxury. Maybe a necessity for these people.
And there's something on leisure buildings. Let's take a look at that. Happiness. Uh, a lot of this is work in progress, though. Leisure buildings here, yeah. Uh, let's see, it's the type of service building where they can eat, drink, or relax after work without having to go home. Yeah, getting away from the kids, probably. Even in ancient Greece, they had it figured out. Maybe a marketplace. Now, let's see. It's for your citizens and visiting merchants to trade their wares. Provides resources for the citizens' residents. Hmm. Can't they buy from here, though? Uh, this seems to... Wait a minute. We have tons of food here. 19 and 0. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. The food problem's been resolved. Good. All right. Hey, very nice. Cool. The town... Um, Initial marketplace can serve as a storage area, but I suppose that's for when you build a town lo large enough that it can't service from that center building anymore. Kind of cool. Alright, hopefully we're producing wine now as well. Maybe it's being immediately purchased. Okay, let's continue on with some other stuff now that we've kind of navigated away from hell. Let's go ahead and try to build a barracks, maybe? Oh, that's interesting. The... Logging camp has just kind of like cleared everything out. No regrowing though. Let's build a barracks here. There we go. I would like to see some sort of construction in this game where it does take time for uh, materials to be delivered and for structures to be completed, but... Ah, there we go. We have uh, what looks to be a... Oh! We actually can rally the troops, tell them where they need to go, and then we can also make, I'm imagining we can make like um, maybe slings, uh, footmen, and maybe some sort of a, maybe a cavalry unit, although they might have a stable for that later on, but a pretty good looking barracks so far. Military building, so we do have a military building down. Don't see the point of building a unit though, if we can't really put them to work against the enemy. Oh, looks like we're losing a little bit of cash now. We can always up the uh, tax amount or we can always try to trade more goods. Marketplace looking all right. All right, let's take a look at unemployment. Hmm, we have room for seven. We could do another quarry. Let's do a, cl a close to town quarry and see if there's really any sort of difference in delivery times. I'm not expecting there to be much of that, of a difference. Uh, the only way I would expect that is if the warehouses, well, like specifically said, hey, these reduce delivery time or something of that nature. But I think it actually is more about um, the distribution of a town that's a little further away. So it might not work for the production buildings, but might work for the consumption. Oh, looks like almost everybody's employed and almost every house is full. I don't see a way, though, to increase the number of... Uh, ...taxes altogether. I, I, I would hope we could hold shift and then be able to increase taxes all at once. But it looks like we might not be able to, which is tedious to adjust every individual home. Hell on Oith. Alright, a few more people added, or at least homes for them. So it looks like tax income is uh, 0 0.1 thousand. <laughs> And building cost is 0 0.2. Mostly because of all the extra food. More than likely. Alright. The marketplace will require more of a quarry. Let's take a look at the... Ooh. A theft in the polis. Oh, a little bit of money. Okay. Not in my polis. Build a little clay mine here. I think that'll reach, right? Oh yeah, it says one out of three, so... 
Looks like they're going to pick it up, bring it here, process it, bring it over to the ceramics. All right, wow, look at that, 100% employment rate. Not good, though, because we always want more workers than what we have for businesses for growth. That's very nice. Wow. I really want decorations, though. But I like how big the town has grown so far. Not too bad. Oh, good. Income is solidified at uh, 138, 163. So not too bad. But I'm hoping with more goods for sale, we can then make up for that. Oh, look at that. We're having a lot of grapes here. Is the... Oh, the winery works very slow. Imagine that. Now, it must be only making one. One grape plus... Or is it four grape and four ceramic equal one? One wine. Wow, that's okay. That is something we're going to have to increase right away then. It looks like when people move in, there are immediate needs for jobs. So they are moving in and immediately being employed. And we've actually dipped into the negative now. Well, it can't be a Raptor video without going into the negative. But on the other hand, there is probably s supposed to be much more helpful hints and such with the objectives. Although I think we've built everything that's currently available. Uh, I would imagine the only other way we could get our anything else unlocked would be by building uh, more buildings and getting our population up, perhaps. Granary, Noria, and we built a lot of this. Hmm, let's see how things work out. Now we're at 19 now. How could we do this for all residents? Uh, I held shift and it appears that it went for all houses. So it must, even if it's we adjust it for an individual house, it must be for an entire class. All right, now we're at plus 10 again. They're not going to be happy about that, but let's actually take a look at their happiness. Yeah, they're going to be constantly mad, but at least they're alive. Good. 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 Adult 71. Employed 70. And now as our taxes increase, and our, well, our income will increase. Oh, there we go. We're actually starting to get some more wine here. Cool. And lots and lots of food, right? Yep. We'll just sit back and let it ride. All that money will come on in. Yeah, it seems like the woodcutter actually does do a clear cut around their building. Kind of weird. Be nice to see some trees actually growing back. Oh, what the... Oh, those deer? Oh. Oh, we have our hunters nearby. Hopefully someone tells them what they saw. Take a look at other things. We have a tech tree in this game, too. And it seems to actually unlock with some sort of a scroll. More effective stone mining. But it doesn't seem to allow us to unlock it, even if we have the appropriate stuff. We have 65. Here we have 15. Not available in the demo version. So these might be things we already own right here. And then we'll unlock those over time. So we have a tech tree. All uh, wall of text about in the final version. Production. Economy. Social. So there will be a lot more than just the building of a town. The management of, his, uh, of it as well. Including the military. So good stuff to see. Let's see what else we can do. Well, money's back into the positive. We could build another home. And I think I want to build some more commercial buildings and like a marketplace. So we're going to need people working to actually fill those buildings. So let's continue to add more homes. 
People can stop living with their parents and start buying their own house. Imagine that. Wow. Love the uh, roofs of the buildings. I hope that we can make some sort of a custom logo or something in the future. And maybe perhaps design our own ships. In fact, to be able to build a port and design our own trade ships and name them and give some more personality that, to things, including making different districts and possibly walling off the city, could all be good. Hopefully this small island is just a glimpse of what we can do in this game. And I don't mind the ability to build on a small island for now, but it would be really cool to be able to build on an island, multiple islands and trade between them, a uh, coast, a uh, peninsula, fight against invasions, uh, perhaps assist other towns as they're invaded or whatnot by whatever threat may be looming, and to also trade uh, both kind of like with local other Greek settlements and also far distant trading partners too. I think that would all be very interesting to be able to participate in and to see how everything would function that way. Very cool indeed possible possible that this could be quite cool yeah I don't want to build any more over that way let's see oh, only like two more people per each of those buildings so now we have a 73 out of 70 so I think we're just gonna wait for the population to go up really uh, not too much meat here but ah good the wine is out so that might be giving us extra cash Glad that we've kind of balanced the budget a little bit, though. So the grape vineyard. Oh, wow. All of those... All that vineyard only produces one? It must affect the speed, but... Yeah, definitely going to have to be a, a production game. A game where we scale up a production where maybe two or three vineyards are enough to supply one winery. And then, of course, like... Well, actually, we're at 40 grapes and uh, 20 ceramics. So I don't really know where a lot of that stuff's going. But let's go ahead and build a granary and a warehouse over here just to say we did it. So we have a little granary here to keep things stored near the farm. Maybe over on this side. Kind of cool to keep all those together. I'd like for a small little wall just so we could separate things. That'd be kind of cool to keep, I don't know, critters and other things out. Well, we should be able to build this. We're at 134. Oh, it's 200. I thought it said 100. Interesting building here with crates. Looks like barrels as well. Only a plus 10 though. That budget is razor thin. We're going to have to... Uh, I love how we can build units. That's cool. But we're going to have to kind of avoid even any sort of talk of a military. Oh, it's 20. So definitely don't need any of those buildings for sure. In fact, we can cut that out. That's probably a monthly expense that we're not going to use. So that's another great way to control your expenses is to just simply destroy or possibly turn off buildings. Although I don't think the barracks was really doing anything at the moment. Ooh, granary employs people too. But I don't see... Oh, there is... Yep, there are grapes being stored there. Okay. So maybe before they had to go all the way into town to store the grapes and then bring it all the way back to go to the winery, if that's how the game works. Although, I would hope that the AI would be intelligent to bring it from the farm to the winery, and then uh, deliver the ceramics as well, make the wine, and then send it to town. Oh, what do we got here? Production building. Okay. None of that's really noteworthy, so that's all good with me. Alright, lots of wood remaining, lots of fish. I guess we've, we've solved the problem of people being hungry. We've solved the problem of people um, not paying their taxes. Oh, yes. We need to ensure that. Hey, we got refugees. Oh, cool. Three people came in. Welcome. And let's build the final building. Which is going to be... Our, not our marketplace, but our warehouse. So hopefully that'll be storage for clay, stone, and logs over here. And I guess we'll build a marketplace, too. For additional... People who will probably have to move in here, and we're going to have to move the logging camp even further away, probably towards the coast. The coast is clear. The price is right. That's fine. 
Any decorations? No. Cool. Very nice. All right, certainly some uh, big potential with this game. I'm hoping to see more development over time. I see the basics here. I see a lot of the classic games that I played as well as more modern games too. And it's um, looking pretty, you know, interesting for what they've got for the first tier. We have multiple tiers. We have military stuff. We have the potential for defenses and attacking and uh, for international trade and big ships. So I like what I see so far. But I'll keep an eye on it and let you know when there's more further developments. If you'd like to see more of this game, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell and check out the channel for many other city builders. And I will see you all next time. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Goodbye.